that right? Yep. Okay. So I'll call them to order the ordinance subcommittee meeting of Tuesday, September 10th, 515. We're all accounted for. Um, I don't think there's anybody here from the public. Where's the net? Hang out. Oh, what the heck? I feel lonely. <laughs> um, and I did, I saw that there was minutes, but I didn't have a chance to go through them. My computer is having some technical I have, issues. I have deferred to trying to be uh, more summarizing and defer to the fact that we have video. Available, That's true. So I don't have to he basically went, uh, here's the meeting, here's who attended, and we adjourn. Okay. <laughs> no. yeah. uh, I summarized what we discussed, and you know, if you wanted to see more, you can watch the video. Yeah, I mean, that's true. So, yeah. um, I'm, I'm not opposed to you know let, approving those ones. If okay, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of August 27th. Uh, second. Okay, all those favor? Aye. Okay, Aye. there we go. Uh, motion to approve. Are you abstaining? Yes. Okay. For now. Two zero. Ultimate parentheses. Hey, what's up? Mm. Ah. Always good to see you. Okay. Thank okay. You. So let's. Um, do you have any news for us? I guess is the question. Yeah. So uh, okay. So, it's, yeah. Well. Yeah. So. Uh, so we're still work. So in no specific order. So wage theft. Um, by permission of the mayor, has been sent out to the carpenters because we're just trying. So, basically. There's a couple issues with it that we're just trying to um, kind of uh, neaten up. So okay. one is that there was one part where basically there is a conflict. Uh, do you have the annotated? Yeah. And I can try to find it because I have the annotations. But basically there was one part where it creates a potential conflict. I mean, I have it on my computer. Um, it cre there's a potential conflict con con uh, created where it appears that the the council would be giving the mayor directive to do something which they mm. can't necessarily do. Right. So, um, uh, because of separation of legislative and executive power. Mm -hmm. um, and so, I think that we'd agree that that probably could be easily changed just by changing the language. Okay. Um, I, I have to look at the exact part. If, you, if um, uh, Probably has to do with like uh, the way that the bid is yeah, it had to do with negotiating contracts. Mm -hmm. I think it was something like that. And then there were parts about that where it basically looked like this, that we were um, creating a, a local investigation process, which was not my intention, mm -hmm. and that gets complicated. So I think the plan would be to potentially take that out and just to continue to create framework that creates uh, more of a robust process for reporting to the AG okay. if someone wants to bring a complaint forward. There was also some language in there all the way at the end, Councilor Conniff, about uh, the 10 taxpayer thing, which we're going to remove. It oh. makes it very easy to, for people to bring complaints forward. We're going to take that out. Right. Okay. So basically, uh, that I, I said that I, it's in the hands of the uh, Carpenters Union lawyer, so they can mm -hmm. clean up some of that stuff. Okay. Uh, because as I've rapidly learned, even if I put, even if we put in language that I think sounds good, if it's not you know, the appropriate legally is mm -hmm. um, that it's not going to fly. The other thing, and I think um, Councilor Conniff had mentioned this, which I think it was a great idea, was that um, we will, instead of repeating language that occurs in both sections, we'll refer to the language that's mm -hmm. repeated in the TIF, the TIF section as ad language, because if we repeat the language in somewhere where it says like may, and then the other one says shall, or just as an example, right. that creates problems legally. Sure. Well, and so also tightens it up a little it bit. It tightens it up. So that's so that's that's the current plan. Um, so we should be expecting to see that probably after the next meeting. After our next meeting. So yeah. So that we won't have a public. Well, so I'll continue yeah, the public. Continue, meeting. Yeah. Yeah. And then the, so the cannabis stuff is interesting. So where we're at with that basically is that by including. By seeking, by seeking actually to be more equitable, ironic enough. Exclusionary. Um, <laughs> yes. So that by including some of the supplier, office supplier diversity categories, potentially, especially when it comes to issues of race, mm -hmm. the minority categories, um, that potentially creates a conflict where you're, where you're basically discriminating. Okay. 
So there's a couple options there. So and then I'll, I'll back up too. This is completely uncharted legal territory. Mm -hmm. So there's no good case law. And so while there are some constitutional law issues that arise, basically what the solicitor said to me was that we have to can just basically consider what the risk is. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you're the first to do anything, there's always going to be risk. Um, no. So oh. just to um, Somerville did something similar. Do we know how they maneuvered around this? Yep. So summer. So so this this goes to what I was about to say. So Somerville only included, and this is an option we have, which could potentially okay. be a little bit more airtight, is we could just say, well, we'll just include the state directives, which is um, the economic empowerment and equity program graduates. Um, and right. I think Somerville also included a uh, um, resident mm -hmm. option, which they told the the solicitor also told me potentially. Could be. Is a can of worms, but it's not as much of a can of worms as the as some of the minority things. But I spoke with the CCC yesterday, and they said that they felt that a lot of the uh, spirit of including some of those supplier diversity categories um, that was that was in the spirit of what they were considering, mm -hmm. and so they were going to try to get a memo to us that basically basically gives some, uh, kind of brings us under the umbrella of state directive with included those. Hmm. So I'm waiting for that. I okay. should hear back by the end of the week about that. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So I think that makes that a little bit, you know, gives that a little bit more, uh, that makes that a little bit more airtight. Okay. And then the other thing that they said to me, which I think we had already included, or he put in his, um, uh, he put in his edits, uh, and I think the new solicitor is fantastic, by the way. He said if we if we make it so that you can't, if we basically if we make it so that special permits, you have to reapply for a special permit if you sell a business. Mm -hmm. He said that's also gives you more, makes it a little bit more airtight as opposed to it just turning over, right? Which I think makes sense. That does make sense, yeah. Um, <clears throat> commented on a bunch of things that we already that weren't part of our amendment, so that wasn't necessarily. And then there were some there were some um, definitions, I think. So. Um, but that's where we are with okay. that. Okay. And so if we don't get the memo from the CCC, are we, like, do we want to consider doing a similar path as Somerville as, you know, adding a, a local uh, resident piece, but then deferring to the state categories? I think that's the safest thing to do, unfortunately. Because okay. we can always add it later. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's still in the spirit of what we're trying to do, and consider. And, and and when I spoke with the CCC, they said that generally most of the people in the um, economic empowerment, some of the people that fall in the economic empowerment category and equity category, are basically a lot of the people that were intending to kind of serve with this. Mm -hmm. So it kind of is in the, is the same thing. Right. Um, it's more so minorities. It's not as much women. Okay. Um, so. And is it just? Is it the process? Is that? Like, is their process difficult? Is that why they've graduated so few people? That, or were they having trouble vetting people? Or like, because if I remember correctly, there was one of the reasons why we didn't just do that straight was because it didn't seem like a lot of people were coming out of that program. My impression was that, so a couple things. One is it wasn't open very long, so they're reopening. Right, okay. And then the other thing is that I think that a lot of people looked at it and they're like, Great. Well, where am I going to apply? Because there's no there's no provisions like this to right. basically like create a pathway for people to be able to go through the economic empowerment process and then have basically something available to them that's not going to get snatched up by some multi-state corporation. Right. So, and that was the feedback I got also from talking to the CCC. So, okay. I think the safest thing to do if we can't get some sort of state guidance is that, and I think that's, I think that's. Good. I mean, it's better. It's you know. I think we we draft a very broad document, but mm -hmm. I think that still giving people who have been completely disempowered and marginalized by the you know the war on cannabis um, and you know within areas of disproportionate economic impact, I think that's I think that's a great step. Yep. I mean, so that what do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think it'll it'll be interesting to see what the CCC says and. And how that will impact it, um, but if not, I'm, you know, I'm not opposed to using the uh, CCC's categories and adding a resident um, piece to that. Yeah. And, um, 
I mean, theoretically. A resident rapper or a resident? Well, it's uh, so like a. Or if, in addition to. In addition to, okay. yeah. And if that's the case, theoretically, we could just amend. We can amend it to strike those. The categories. Those categories. I'd have to look at double check those. Some of the. There might still be. I have to look over again what some of his. Um, uh, grammar edits, uh -huh. or for lack of a better term, mm -hmm. those were in the amendment section because he he took the whole, our whole the whole ordinance. I noticed that. that. <laughs> oh. He has some comments on like oh. ten dot one. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Starting through, he's got some oh, changes. Well, oh, well, some of them I are mean, just capitalization and. Sure, but but if we, but, I mean, that's actually. Um, we have since we still have that on our agenda, we could actually go through and we could fix that if we if we felt so inclined. Fix the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, because it's it's to. still on our agenda. Yeah, you know, and if I mean if those um, make sense, then you know maybe what we should do is just uh, I mean we'd have to probably we'd set a separate public hearing. Yes, but it would just be um, a public hearing for uh, edits. Yeah, so I recommend. Yeah, I would recommend to uh, to uh, consider a vote on the actual uh, equity section, and then and then a separate thing for the edits around mm -hmm. it. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. I, if I remember correctly, the only sticky part was what is a resident, I think. I have to look at that. And I think okay. he said that our definition of a resident was different than the state's. So okay. we just basically include the state's definition. So, I mean, theoretically, next meeting, if we don't get guidance from the state, we could we introduce amendments. amendments to strike the uh, supplier diversity categories, change our definition of a resident, I think that would be it. I right. can look over more of the document. It's going to be more complicated than that. Than well, and I think know. if we're and if we are going to do that, we um, which I'm fine with. I think we need to make sure that we get uh, like the completed version to Barbara by beforehand. I think that was one of the things that she was asking for. All right. So the problem so, is, like, yeah. So I won't probably won't hear from the from the commission until Friday. So then that, that might mean that that's a no go. Right. So th th then it would just delay it a week or it's two fine. weeks. I, again, I'd rather do it right, and I apologize that we're kind of in this purgatory, but... Well, no, it happens sometimes. Better to be right. Yeah, better to be right then. Fast. Than, um, than permanent purgatory. Yes. <laughs> so, I'm just... Only because I can't find it really quick, but when we originally drafted this, did we draft a provision equity notwithstanding to add additional licenses kind of like liquor licenses like if we five years from now deem that this is becoming the pot capital of the world and mm -hmm. we need more licenses do we come back as a group s update this to whatever number we yep. decide Just, and then that's all we have to do okay all we, all we have to do is is go is so if amend it. from an equity perspective then whether we go with eight, I mean, whatever that number is, mm -hmm. is movable. Don't yes. Yep. Yeah, and that was the intention. With, and the intention, too, is that as you add on, they have to be equity until you reach 50 50. Okay. Um, that reminds me of something else. Remember the whole clause about if someone applies but doesn't make it to a certain part of the process, that they can come back and say, they ask for an extension, basically? Yeah. So we set that at six months. And I think that's a really short period of time. That's what I th initially. That's what I had was saying was I felt that that was too short. I think when we were. I think that so that was one of the discussions we had with the planning board. Right. And um, I, I I thought that six months was pretty quick, but um, I think Jeff and and Jesse were more like, well, if they're doing it, then. Um, you know they'll be on top of it, but yeah, like if we if we if that's something we want to change, that's something we can take a look at. I'm we don't have to send that back to the planning board, right? No, I think I think a year is better personally. I, that's originally that's what my thought was that it would. Um, and then I have to look at the. I apologize. I have to look. Well, I'd have to pull up the document to tell you more. Um, I think those are the big things, but I have a feeling that, um, yeah, I don't, I'd have to find that document now, I don't know where I put it, oh wait, maybe, uh, this might be it. Um, okay, I have it in front of me, yeah, the six months, 
I think he suggested. Section 7.4.3. Oh, okay. Oh, never. I got it. And then he also mentioned that the renew their extension that we probably would have to then outline more of a process for that, other than like, hey, yeah, I want an extension. So if any special permit granted to an equity applicant shall lapse if a completed application with the cannabis control is not obtained within six months of the filing of a special permit with city clerk. Any requests for renewals or extensions must be submitted prior to the expiration date. <clears throat> so. Um, uh, maybe I mean maybe we could say something like uh, a request uh, for renewal or extension must be submitted in writing to the city clerk. Um, you know, like so, just add a little bit of that to give it a little bit more specificity. Um, I don't know if we necessarily have to have a form. I mean, I think if they're just asking for an extension, saying hey, we haven't been able to get our completed application with the CCC. So Barbara clears these today that was my question because it was another question that the solicitor asked right? right doesn't it go to the planning doesn't it go straight to the well planning? i think it would go I can't it would, imagine barb doing no she wouldn't no 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 but it, i think it would go it would be submitted to her and then put so to special go permits to are the planning filed board. with the city clerk that get redirected to the planning board because that's the way it reads right yeah and that was that, his that question you can too. just walk in and go barb I'd like to have a special permit for him. Right, no, 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 no that's not how it works. Off its no, no, I mean, it goes to the planner. Right. Right, so, yeah. that, right. so we have to change that. Yeah, that goes Planning to the planner. I, I was just thinking that it was like, that she was the conduit and would stamp it, so we had the date stamp. Well, here's another question. Do we say something, you mentioned a form, do we say on a form to be provided by the city? Because that way, instead of like, everyone writing their own essay, we have like a form that says re request for extension or renewal. I think that's very specific categories or something. That would have to go back probably to Jeff as far as like what he would want to see on that form, other than you know who they are, what they want an extension for, and, and you know the time that they think that they need. Um, but couldn't you technically pass this and then then go back and write the form? Y you could. Um, you could, but I think that Jeff would want to have. Oh yeah, of course. Would want to be the one that is creating that form. Oh yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, yeah. But that's what I'm saying is that that way, like everyone who requests an extension is 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 filling out this kind of. Like but maybe we should maybe we should ask Jeff if yeah. um, if that's something he feels is necessary and he wants to do. Yeah. Because um, if the if the form is still. Uncle, you know, unsure if we even need it. Right. And since Jeff's going to get them. Or otherwise, just they they can otherwise just kind of outline, you know, the yeah. reason. The reason and and uh, the date. The date. Yeah. yeah. So I think that was the big thing. Okay. Um, I'm just I'm just looking back here again. Sorry, I'm just looking at um Yeah, some of this was um some of it as you probably saw was um just um a lot of um again like legal language edits that he added in. Okay. Um which I think would be a reasonable to it would be reasonable to, to adopt. adjust. No. Maybe um you know, maybe the best thing with this is to kind of wait for that document then type back up um you know all these edits mm -hmm. um and then um then i forget to you at the next meeting yep that sounds fair so this also will be continued yeah <laughs> again but the third time well the one thing i have to say is like i'm actually thrilled that like we are, the solicitor is so Rig rigorous with his oh, yeah. an oh, analysis. Yeah, this is uh, really good. And I also spoke with Ryan yes. that works Ryan O'Donnell that works with him is fabulous. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I know that. So he used to run for something, didn't he? Didn't he run for something in in? Uh, oh, you might be thinking of JD. No, I was. I'm thinking oh. of Ryan O'Donnell. Yeah. Oh. Was he a city councilor? Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, that, yeah, but yeah, he, he, he's the president, the current president of the North Tampa City. Different yeah. person. Oh, okay. It's different. Yeah, um, and it name. might not even be, okay. it might be Ryan O'Connell for all I know. Oh, I think yeah. it's right. Anyways, but yes. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Got it. So why don't I do that then um, and wait for that document? That might be the best thing. That sounds good. Yeah. But we're close. Okay. So. That brings us to the bike. It brings us to the bike and. I I thought that um, I thought that Word printed out the final version with all the edits I made, and it didn't. It printed out the version with uh, the edits I made, and then the things that I uh, deleted as well. <laughs> so. Uh, so it's it's later than this one with all the. It's yeah. So I so I basically went back. So I could I could tell you what I did. Uh, I apologize. I, I didn't. I printed these out before I left work, and then I just am looking at them now. And there's like, re like there's language that was taken out, and then the language that was put in. Um, but I can tell you, there's none. None of these are substantial edits. What they are is just cleaned up a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So uh, let me find that. <coughs> Can you, on your form, um, there's a misspelling right out of the gate, unless you've changed it, or unless they've changed it. Yeah, let me know. Oh, yeah. Did I think so? Okay. The two or three low-speed electrical bike. Okay. And it says two. To, oh, that's very different than what he had. So you, so you incorporate. I can give you this, but it's basically gibberish because. So you I, incorporated his. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he basically. Here's what he said. He's like, if you're. He said, if you're going to use. If you're in general, you you want to use language as that's basically the same as language that already exists. Like okay. if any time you you create your own language, that creates problems and it can make it like challengeable. Flex. Yeah. Yeah. So like if we if you were to be like uh, a low speed electric bicycle is a motor of less than 850 watts, so why why are you using a definition that's not in line with federal or state? So we had a, we had a discussion about that. So um, so um, so that's so basically I took I like just didn't I copy it literally copied the all the existing definitions. Um, from the one from the from the like reference points that we had, oh. um, and uh, um, like things where it's it's in GL, like I just referenced that chapter GL instead of spelling the whole thing out, like the motor vehicle definition, which mm -hmm. is like this long. Yeah, because then if they change it, we don't have to change it. Right. right. Um, and. I, do, I so I, I I literally clean just cleaned up all the language. He had a few little edits. So you guys have both of those. He had a few little edits, like where we had the restrictions. Instead of like making it like a little bit more convoluted about what's permitted, he just had an exceptions part at the end, which is F. Okay. So where it says despite otherwise being prohibited by this ordinance, uh, one vehicles used uh, despite otherwise being like. Oh yeah. Despite otherwise being prohibited by this ordinance, vehicles used as mobility aids, blah blah blah, public safety, official vehicles may utilize man manhand ranch trial. So he just kind of cleaned up how we were trying to explain that. Okay. And the, uh, okay, so official vehicles. Alright. Good. Um and then there was that part that we put in but I I, I wasn't sure if the way I wrote it down was exactly right. So the permitting part, I wrote commerce whose sole function is dependent on the use of the Manhattan Rail Trail is prohibited unless specified elsewhere. Is that what we wanted to say? I think that is what. Whatever you had in the minutes. Yeah, I just want to make sure that what I had in the minutes is what I we actually discussed. Um, look at the video. <laughs> Uh, the other point he made regarding undefined vehicles is that he basically said, well, you can take a vote to say, well, this can be allowed, but it's temporary in, in the sense that we would have to then go and, and codify that ordinance. Create, yeah, create something. Like a stay for a, an event? 
or or like or like yeah or like if someone had wanted, a bike taxi had a bike taxi and we don't have any provisions and we took a vote so we can we they can, can allow them until. it's temporary oh. until we you know and we probably would have to you know at have that some. time to make some parameters and yeah so that that was and again just legal legally it's like, like we can't just vote it vote it and say oh it's fine like we'd have to go back and put into language yeah. um so that's what it was. I mean, I can send you, I can email you the document. I don't know why I printed out everything. So I can email you guys the document. Um, and then if you're, but if you're okay with it, I can send, send it to send Barbara, Barbara Thursday. Yeah. I mean, but it's, it really is just cleaned up language that we had already agreed on and okay. using his recommendations for things. So I didn't, I did not change anything that we had discussed. Okay. Although I think he was confused about the width restriction because I think he thought that only pertained to electric bikes and we our intention was that that would pertain to anything, any vehicle. Any vehicle. Yeah. Besides um, like official right. vehicles. Right. Exactly. Tandem trailer or something. Yeah. On the bike path probably wouldn't be good. Yeah, probably not. But, but if we're saying motorized vehicles, wouldn't that include Because we're only limiting the width on an electric bicycle. We're not limiting the width on, of course, it's already prohibited, any other kind of motorized vehicle, a bike, a low speed electric bike, exceeding the, so, oh, okay, so only exceeding that. I think it's anything, I think, yeah. is the width restriction. Like, even a bicycle, like if you had a bicycle that was like, yeah. Like if you strapped like a two by four onto your bike when riding down the bike path, like right. Like, you have one bike on the end and another bike on the other end. Right. Strapped yeah. on. But that's not how we have it written. We have it written low speed electric bicycles of any kind I think exceeding four point five. That's what he put in there. Oh wait. No. Sorry. He just took out the word vehicles. Oh. No, I think he added. That's his addition. No, read the note over here. He said. Um, let me, let he me said, since it. motor vehicles and vehicles are already prohibited, I think you only need to exclude excessively large electric bicycles here. Right, but that wasn't our intention. It was to exclude everything, right? Excessively large bicycles. Or, ex yeah, excessively large. Let me look at an earlier version, because I, I saw that. I was like, I think you added that in. Well, because when I... No, it, no because we, we wrote the... We remember? said low-speed electric bicycles of any... Why did he cross up vehicle? No, we put it in as restrictions. So, because remember, this is what we wrote. Yeah. So we wrote it in as 17.3 restrictions. Um, no vehicle, so it's under B, no vehicle may exceed 4.5 feet of width as measured yeah. from the widest part. No vehicle may extend, exceed 15 feet in length as measured from tip to tail, excluding public safety and emergency vehicles and official vehicles used for trail maintenance. So yes. that, that is a different. That um, was, I, I think he added that language in because I think he was misunderstood. Our public safety and emergency vehicles because that's an exception. Correct. Um, so what he did is he took out the word vehicles. He took out the word vehicles and added electric bicycles. Kind. No. Because our, our prior language just said ex vehicles exceeding four and a half feet no, of width. No, width and, no okay. vehicle exceeding. Yeah. So he added the low speed electric bicycles. Correct. Of any well, yeah. he must have he must have like seen it as low speed electric bicycles and figured that these were the restrictions for low speed electric bicy yeah. bicycles, and these were just our restrictions. Yeah. In general. Yes, I think that's what right. He was, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So. Yeah. So you, we're going to change it back to vehicles of any kind exceeding four point five feet. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And fifteen feet from tip to yeah. tail. Tip to tail. I was thinking about it the other day as I was watching people drive down the bike path in their cars. And I was like, huh, are those official vehicles? <laughs> but, but yeah, I mean, I guess they are, right? What vehicles? For, um, down for all the um, food trucks and vendors for Oh, Milwaukee. that's how they get. They, they drive, like, uh, Vinnie Corsell. Technically, we could take it. Probably could. Probably could. We need I don't, I don't know money on any given day. <laughs> <laughs> we would lose who's food truck Friday, which right. is a bigger draw, but you know. Well, no, I mean, yeah, so. Not gonna. That's not, that's, I think it's fine. Okay. 
So I can send you, I don't know what it did with this track changes, so I have to figure out how to like accept everything and make it finalized. Yeah, I mean, if you can send Start that. Start from then. his email, or the email you sent me. Because uh, but that I, has this version on it. But I, but I took that and made it and like edited everything. So yeah. you've, you've made more changes? No, I just, I accepted some of his and cleaned it all up. Oh. Like I just accepted Some his. you did, some you didn't. Uh, pretty much everything I did. Like, right, so the yeah. one in the email that you sent me, Okay. you could just take it and then accept. Uh, yeah, I think I could do that. Except for this one. And then go through and do the whatever edits you did. Yeah, well, and that's what I basically did. That's what I have, but I don't know why I printed everything else out. Okay. Like, like this is basically a mix of... A mix I, of everything. I'm confused why I did that, but okay. again, yeah. All right, so, so we'll, this is still a potential. Yeah, this is potential well, that we could, we could Thursday. actually have the hearing on this. Well, that's what I'm, yeah, that's what I'm hoping. If we can so, get it to Barbara by Thursday. So the question is, I No, mean, we can't. We don't have it, do we? We don't have it scheduled. Well, we can I, schedule no, it today. I, I, Oh, I didn't no, we schedule don't have it because it for a public hearing, so we have to schedule. I have to schedule. Oh, it again. right, that's right, because Barbara okay. wanted to have the language. That's right. That's okay, so, so let's get the language to Barbara, and then I'll schedule the public hearing. So I can send it to you guys, and you can yeah. say this looks good. Yep. Right. Yep. Okay. Okay. And then. And then we said the next Barbara. meeting. That's right. That's what we talked about. Okay. So there's no. Okay. So theoretically, Barbara doesn't need, wouldn't need the the language then. She, she, she'll want to have a copy of it before, when I set the public hearing. So, what is that, October 5th is the next public, would be the next um, opportunity for a public hearing? October, yeah, yeah. hold yeah, on, let me, right. let me check. Uh, so our next meeting is 17th next week, and so then it would be October 1st. Okay, so, what day is today? The 11th. So, Let's Tomorrow's the 11th. Um, so tomorrow's the 11th. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. The, the, so the second, 18th, you set the public hearing. I'm thinking today so is Wednesday. So and she needs, two, she needs two weeks in advance? I think she, she wants it, it before. I, for October 1. Yeah. For October 1. For October 2nd. So does October that mean I can give October it to her on the night? She could have, She needs it by the 19th then? Um, I think that if we give it to her. Let me just read her email again. I just want to make sure I'm not missing something. I think she just wants it. So people can read but I could give it to her third. Yeah. Point. Okay. Yeah. But as soon as we have it, we can just. Just remind that all revised ordinance should be given to me in time to inclusion in September. I got it. Okay. All right. So I'll send you guys the the edits, which is really just basically taking what he recommended minus a few things that I think he very misunderstood. Okay. And good. Um, then I can send it to her third. I'll send it to you later tonight. Yep. Perfect. Okay. And it's, uh, it's I don't know if we want to <clears throat> end with that. I have questions. Please, questions. So, on our agenda, we still have review of the proposed mobile multi passenger pedal tavern. We removed that last time, so we just need to make sure that that is taken off our next agenda. Okay. I have the and same question. I think question. that was just a, a whoops. Yeah. Um, we also have, and I noticed on Omar's uh, agenda for public safety, he also had off-street parking as an item. That's this, the one that you submitted to public safety. So that's a different, is that what that one is? Yeah. It's about just parking limits at time? Okay. What was that? Oh, that was the one hour thing we yeah. wanted to, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so that's what that is. Ours is still live. Um, we just did that. So what about, why do we have commercial quadrang quadricycle ordinance on ours when it's also on public safety? Um, well, because ours is the one that we wrote. Are uh, we or that, that we, No. Because? Because it's, I mean, it's, I don't know if we need to kill it yet. Probably have to wait for the uh, wait for the bike boat to see what happens there. Yeah, right? and then, um, and om the one that's in public safety is different. It's a plan B. It's that's a an outright ban. So is this pending hours? 
I don't know if it's pending ours. Like, do we need to have both going simultaneously? It seems confusing. Because uh -huh. clearly I'm confused. <laughs> so the one that we have yes. would set parameters. And that would, if we allowed one but we're already saying we're not allowing one. On the bike path. This is on streets. This would be other than the bike path. Okay. So like um, so say that uh, you know this street gets closed down for a special event and this guy wants to come in and get a permit he would submit his route and there would be parameters around what he so would So that's have to still do. an open thing we can talk about. Yes. Okay. Then what is okay. The other one is just an outright it's outright ban. Outright restriction. Which one is the one, the one that the one public, public safety. safety. Go ahead, you and I don't know. I mean, he's part of the committee too. But um, we didn't start the discussion of it until this committee finished with those ones. Yeah. So that way, we, we, like you said, we don't want to do a, a double one. Okay. Do two different ordinances. They talk about the same thing. So we receive it as a committee, but we're not going to do anything until you guys finish it. Okay, so yours is just sitting there. Yeah. Okay. For now. Until we resolve our uh, what are we calling it? That's what we decide. Like that's what we decide as a committee. So if we, so, question. Yeah. So if we come up with a fabulous ordinance that is just rock solid and mm -hmm. waterproof, this goes away? It could. Okay. okay. All right. And I think, like, the parameters around that would be, wh like, what could potentially be a, a potential use for this in East Hampton? You know, is, is there any? You know, is there a route that it could take? Is there an opportunity for special events where it could be used or something like something like that? Um, and if not, then we say no to that and we release that, and then we go to that, which would be looking at well, then we there's just no abs absolute no space for this whatsoever. It's banned. So, okay, so. This, what we're talking about, is potentially allowing it. Plan B is it's absolutely not going to happen. Why wouldn't that be here as well? Like if I mean, we it think, is an ordinance. If we say we're not going to do it, it wouldn't that de facto mean that this is the answer? Like if we can't do an ordinance that allows it in some, you know, that we can all agree on as parameters, doesn't that mean I think this that this is going to end up in, with us anyway. I mean, it's an ordinance. I know. So, How did it get over? Oh, because if you if, because it was more of a public safety consideration, that was my thought. Okay. If you look at the like the, the preamble. Come on. Again, as a committee, what we decide. No, I hear. Was no no, and now to your answer, why why is not here, and is why he said probably it's going to end here, is that if we decide to take a look of it. We're going to make a recommendation as a, as a police safety committee. And the recommendation is going to be to you guys, because you guys are the ordinance okay. committee. We're going to take a look, because it's a police safety issue. And then we're going to send it to the ordinance committee with the recommendation of the police safety. That was the same reason, like, the outdoor events thing was sent to public safety, because it's a public safety concern, and potentially. Although I think any committee can pass an ordinance, no? Um, no, any yeah. I mean, generally, there's you know, for historically, we've given uh, the pay scale to finance, the pay you know the uh, pay plan pay plan ordinance. Um, but you know, I, and I would also say historically, ordinance has dealt with issues that deal with public safety as well. So I mean, it's kind of uh, uh, it, 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 at the end of the day, it, I mean, the where we send things is up to the discretion of the council. Um, and there's no hard and fast rule necessarily, um, but I think generally, like ordinances, will probably, you know, from public safety, will probably end up back in ordinance. I think went with a recommendation. I mean, that seems like a, it would be a normal course of um, protocol. And that's how I see it. But mm -hmm. okay. So, did I answer your question? But you remember, you remember the quadricycle ordinance that we oh, did, I right? Totally did. With all the like the yeah, parameters, which is. Thus, my confusion. Well, because we had all, because we had talked, I think, I think it was like three meetings ago, about having a restriction as a solution if we decide. But basically, if you vote no on an ordinance, you still don't have to go and restrict it. Yeah, because otherwise, it's still open. It's kind of undefined. We either have to allow them or not allow them. Right. And I'm with you. 
Okay. I just am not completely clear on why it's two different things, but well, I will let it go. And that part, I was, I wasn't at, when those got sent. I okay. wasn't there. My so thought, my go. thought as the person who submitted it was that the the restriction, the the lens for restriction, had more to do with a public safety concern than just straight out evaluating like an ordinance like ABC, you know, blah blah blah, but the time place matter. So. And, and that was that was yeah oh sorry it's only it's only six. Omar. and just to add um, I think it's, it's, it is a good idea that I know if it is an ordinance that is related to public safety or it is related to rules or something like that I think it's a good idea to send it to that committee and the committee send a recommendation to this committee mm -hmm. I, I think that practice I think is a good idea yeah is a more people more eyes on more it, eyes on it. and a different perspective about the committee and at the end we'll end here yep okay yeah okay so i have about five more sorry my pumpkin is turning to a chariot no just kidding it's usually the other way around but i have to leave at six so <laughs> it's really the upshot of the whole thing. okay <laughs> so just to summarize um again we're waiting for some language with the rage stuff yep i'll clean up some of the language and the cannabis stuff, and then we're kind of okay. waiting for a little bit, but some yep. of it just needs to be cleaned up. Do you agree, can I make a motion to um, change, sorry, um, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to find where I was. My, 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 uh, my cut, my, uh, yeah. Uh, instead of um, to change the um, sorry, I'm trying to find where, where I was. Uh, the six month thing, I was looking for where that was. Uh, it's something uh, 4.7. Mm -hmm. Are we back to X? Oh, it's, yeah, it's 7.4.3. So it's 7.4.3 instead of um, uh, where it reads, any special permit granted to an East Tampa equity applicant shall lapse if the applicant has not submitted a completed application. And he added these, these little words for a retail license to the commission within six months. Can we can I make a motion to change that to a year instead? Is that more reasonable? I think so. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So we can change that. And, uh, change city clerk to planning, or plan change, planner. I think we should change city clerk to city yeah. planner. Okay. So we'll make a motion to change city clerk under seven point four point three to planning department. Uh, Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. I think that makes clerk sense. To planner. Um, on the agenda, it has our next meeting as September twenty fifth. Uh, I will not be there. Okay. Oh, well, how about this? Um, let's, uh, on the 18th, um, I can announce a different date if you have one that works for you that's better. Uh, that entire week I'm unavailable. Okay, so let's, you wanna just just move on to the... This Tuesday before the next thing. Which is the, the first? We could, we could do the first. I have a dentist. Before. So my only question about that My only question about that, okay, so so the city council meets on the 18th. Wait, did you say the 20th? You mean the 24th? Well, it says the 25th but, on which, the which is a Wednesday. Yeah, it should be the 24th. So my only question about that, though, is the 24th would be an opportunity to I'm hopefully... not here. No, I understand that. Um, so the 24th, though, might, would be an opportunity to... Um, um have some of that language with wage that the cannabis finalized. Okay. I mean if we can but keep it and we can look at that, but um I don't know if we want to do that without paying. I, I mean I'm not I'm not saying I do, I'm just putting that out there. Okay. Um let's when so when will you be back? Um there's we Thir um you wanna do well that might be I actually 
20. So, but, so when, because we'd have to give Barbara language, so, right? Yeah. So. <clears throat> I, mean, I could do Monday. The 30th? 23rd. No, the 23rd, but you're not Oh, but you're gone. The 23rd. I'm not here either, 23rd, actually. 23rd, 24th, 25th. Okay. Um. I currently don't have anything on the 26th. 26th. Okay. I can move it to the 26th. Are you good on the 26th? I'm fine with that. So my question with that would be, if we agreed on language, does that make it to? Is that enough time to get on? To get on? Joe thing? could add it to the. Yeah, package. Joe could add it. Okay. If we if we finalized it Thursday night, Joe could have them amend the package yep. on Friday. Okay. Well. I mean, we could ask him to. Well, nobody's here. Mm -hmm. Oh, true. Monday. Monday. So that would work. Okay, so I just changed it. You might, I mean, you might want to just send him a I'll send him a heads up. And say, yeah. You think that's going to be okay with Barbara? Oh, I, I will ask, I'll send it to Barbara and Joe and see if that's okay. I mean, there's a rule that says the president mm -hmm. can amend the city mm -hmm. council. I mean, the, uh, well, the, close, uh, the, the question is too. We just did it last meeting. Yep. Right. So, okay. What time? Um, uh, 5.15, same. I just, I just switched it over to Thursday. Oh, wow. um, it is 6.01. You should go. Yeah. Do you guys want to uh, make a motion? A motion to adjourn. So, a second. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Thanks go. very much. Okay.